Sunday. It's the Osmond family rocking and reeling under the big top with special guest stars LeVar Burton and Joyce DeWitt. Then at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. She could have been just another college girl, but her name was Patty Hearst. You are a prisoner, and this is a war, and this is an army to kill. After five years, the story can be told the ordeal of Patty Hearst. Wednesday on 8 is Enough, Abby finally starts to teach. Wish me luck! But when she flunks out the basketball star, she fouls out with Tommy. Look, Tommy, it's my job. Go ahead, be a terrific substitute teacher, because I'll tell you one thing, you're not much of a substitute mother. Wednesday on 8 is Enough, Abby flunks out the basketball star and fouls out with Tommy. Tonight, right after the movie, Cagney Tells All, an exclusive with David Hartman. Tuesday. You're under arrest. A crooked judge causes Starsky and Hutch to quit the force. Tuesday, Mark makes a special visit. I hate it when you do that thing. And Fonzie learns the power of Orc on Happy Days. Then Laverne's tired of being one of the guys, so Shirley turns her into one of those girls. Just split. Right after Mark visits Happy Days. Tuesday, Mork makes a special visit and Fonzie learns the power of Orc on Happy Days. Then Laverne's tired of being one of the guys, so Shirley turns her into one of those girls. Why you split? Then... I'll bet you that Chrissy here can give up food longer than you can give up women. It's the battle of the sexes on Three's Company. Then Alex has the first stick up and Louie has the last word. And we're all morons, maniacs, and lowlifes. <laughs> on Taxi! <laughs> Tuesday, Mork visits the Bonds on Happy Days. Then Laverne gets a lesson on dating from Shirley. And Chrissy and Jack have a battle of the sexes on Three's Company. And we're all morons, maniacs, and lowlifes. And Louie has the last word on taxi. Monday. $100,000. Sold. Harry makes the buy of a lifetime. $120,000 in cash. Pass. And gets more than he bargained for. What makes you think that it's a treasure map? But Spanish treasure buys him nothing but trouble. Our Aztec gold is right in the middle of U.S. government property. How are we going to get in there? We could get 20 years in Leavenworth for this. <laughs> Salvage one. Let's get out of here. Yeah! Thursday. Bring me a Shirley Temple and hold the curls. I don't want a hairball. Mark and Bickley make the swinging scene and get taken for a ride. Shouldn't we have kissed him goodnight? Then, Cheryl T, Cheryl Ladd, and 
and Tina Turner make it a very special hour with John Denver and the ladies. Then I saw a flying saucer. Bird breaks him up, and the little devil brings down the house. Now see here, I've had about enough of that. On soap. Thursday, Mork and Bickley make the swinging scene and get taken for a ride. Shouldn't we have kissed him goodnight? Then a special hour with Cheryl T, Cheryl Ladd, and more. John Denver and the ladies. Shut up! And the little devil busts loose on soap. Not for air, not for air, not for air, not for air. I said not for air. The women of all my children will make your day. Fantastic. Erica, bewitching, determined, vulnerable. No man has ever wanted me, you know, just for me. Erica makes your day every day on all my children. Wednesday on 8 is Enough, Abby finally starts to teach. But when she flunks out the basketball star, she fouls out with Tommy. You're not much of a substitute mother. Then on Charlie's Angels, the most beautiful marathon in the world turns into the most deadly. And the Angels have to run for their lives. And on Vegas, Dan Tanner tracks down the ruthless killer of a blind girl to head off his best friend's revenge after 8 is Enough and Charlie's Angels. Wednesday on 8 is Enough. You're not much of a substitute mother. Is Abby the teacher flunking out at home? Then on Charlie's Angels, the most beautiful marathon in the world turns into the most deadly. And on Vegas, Dan tracks the killer of a blind girl to head off his best friend's revenge. Wednesday on Charlie's Angels, the most beautiful marathon in the world turns into the most deadly, and the Angels have to run for their lives. Then on Vegas, Dan Tan attracts the ruthless killer of a blind girl to head off his best friend's revenge. Late night tonight. Where is she? A fellow cop leads Pepper into a trap on Policewoman. Saturday, Julie has a love-struck young suitor. We could go away together. But her heart's set on an older man on the love boat. Then Mr. Rourke plays matchmaker for a jilted bride. I want a husband by Sunday. And mastermind for a would-be jewel thief on Fantasy Island. Saturday. I got a treat for your hormones. Pinto's complexion blemishes Delta House. It is the biggest, grossest, ugliest thing I ever saw in my life. Then on Cotter. I love you. Horshack's in love and out of Buchanan. Transferred.
Saturday, Pinto's complexion blemishes Delta House. It is the biggest, grossest, ugliest thing I ever saw in my life. And on Cotter. I love you. Horshack's in love and out of Buchanan. Transferred. Then Julie has a young suitor. We could go away together. But falls for an older man on the love boat. And Mr. Rourke plays matchmaker for a jilted bride. I want a husband by Sunday. On Fantasy Island. Sunday, Starsky and Hutch bust out in a special two-hour movie. I do not intend to go through the rest of my life running away from shadows. Losing their badges could mean losing their lives. We're gonna get that man, federal judge or no federal judge. Back off. The judge puts the word out. What are you guys up to? Staying alive, Kent. Get Starsky and Hutch, a special two-hour conclusion on the Sunday night movie. Sunday, Starsky and Hutch are off the force and on the streets in a special two-hour movie. <laughs> Tuesday, the French invade Milwaukee. That's a long way to come to get punched out. And Fonzie gets foiled. But I will give you a lesson you will not soon forget. Happy days. Friday on Making It, it's Tony's homecoming. Call me a bum again. Throw me out. Bum. Oh, I knew we'd get that. Then the landlord raises the rent and Raj raises his voice. You got something you want to say to me? On what's happening? Friday on making it, it's Tony's homecoming. Call me a bum again. Throw me out. Bum. Oh, I knew we'd get that. Then the landlord raises the rent and Raj raises his voice. You got something you want to say to me? It's what's happening. Then. He has stolen my children. But no one could help. Not even the law. Because her husband was the child stealer. Sunday, the Osmond family tells all as they live out their craziest fantasies with Ruth Buzzy, Ron Palillo, and Debbie Reynolds. Then, Galactica shuttle cleared for landing in Alpha Bay. The treacherous Baltar schemes to hijack the last battle star. We control the Galactica. And Starsky and Hutch are off the force and onto the streets in a special two-hour movie. What are you guys up to? Staying alive, Ken. Tonight. You're under arrest. The right plan traps the wrong man. I'm as good as dead. And it's the end of the road. He's dead because you let him down. For Starsky and Hudge. And late dun, dun, night, dun. Charlie and Bill have a plan. Dun, dun, dun. If it moves, bet on it. It's a California split. Thursday. This is great. Just great. Mork and Bickley are a big hit with the swing and single. What's your sign? I'm nefarious with egg rising. Then it's John Denver and the ladies. Cheryl T. Cheryl Lass and Tina 
Turner in a great new John Denver special. Then... I saw a flying saucer. Bird breaks him up, and the little devil brings down the house. Now, see here! I've had about enough of that! On soap! Tuesday, the French invade Milwaukee. That's a long way to come to get punched out. And Fonzie's foiled. I will give you a lesson you will not soon forget. In a duel to the death on happy days. <laughs> then... Don't touch me! The tenants are revolting. I hope I never see this pea pack of flakes again. And Laverne and Shirley try to patch things up before a building inspector tears things down. Tuesday. Tuesday, the French invade Milwaukee. That's a long way to come to get punched out. And Fonzie spoiled on happy days. Then... Don't touch me! The tenants are revolting, and Laverne and Shirley try and patch things up. And on Three's Company. That's fantastic. The roommates are cooking up a big surprise because the Ropers are moving into their own series. We really don't want his type living next door, do we? It's the premiere of The Ropers, Tuesday. Tuesday on Three's Company. Fantastic, Missy. The roommates are cooking up a big surprise because the Ropers are moving out and into their own series. We really don't want his type living next door, do we? They're making new friends. The Ropers? <laughs> Premieres right after Three's Company, Tuesday. Wednesday on 8 is Enough. Oh, boy. Nicholas falls in love with music, and Joni falls in love with a guy Dad just can't stand. I don't like him. I don't trust him. I want him out of this house, and I want him out of your life. I will never talk to you again. Wednesday on 8 is Enough, Nicholas falls in love with music, and Joni falls in love with a guy Dad can't stand. Then, Farrah Fawcett Majors brings a surprise visit on the Angels, but her love of hot cars and fast men could stop her dead. And Dan Tanner takes on the whole United States Army. Hey, they started it. On Vegas, after 8 is Enough and Charlie's Angels. Wednesday on 8 is Enough, Nicholas falls for music and Joni falls for a guy Dad can't stand. Then Farrah springs a surprise visit on the Angels, but hot cars and fast men could stop her dead. And on Vegas, Dan takes on the whole U.S. Army. Hey, they started. Thursday. It's the baby. He's possessed. There's the devil to pay on soap. Monday. They won't be back. At NASA. Skip's going back into space. You've got to go on that mission. And Harry's going out of business. You're under arrest. But when Skip's in trouble, it's Harry to the rescue. There's no telling how fast this thing would go if I'd floor. Salvage one. 